Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Omni's Eat. I'm Jessica, and on today's video, I'm gonna be filming a full day of eating low carb with you today. So, let's go ahead and get into my breakfast. I already have it ready, I'm just gonna show you what I'm having. All right, you guys know that I like quick and easy breakfast. I've got two hard boiled eggs with a liberal serving of salt on top. And then I'm gonna have this Quest Chocolate Caramel Pecan Hero Bar. This is gonna be my breakfast this morning. I'm gonna really much enjoy it. This is about 340 calories total. And I think it's four net carbs for the bar. Yes, four net carbs, it says right there on it. So uh, 340 calories so far and four net carbs. I'm not gonna be able to tell you the calories and net carbs right off the top of my head when I get to lunch and dinner, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast. I just wanted to start my day off with you all and let you know what I'm having. Oh, I'm also having some uh, Pepsi Wild Cherry Zero. And I say that because it's actually in a two liter. I don't, I've not been able to find this in like the 16 ounce bottles at all. If you guys have, let me know where because I've looked at my, like my regular grocery stores and I've looked at Walmart and I've looked at a couple other places. The only way I can get the Wild Cherry Pepsi Zero is in a two liter. So anyway, I'm gonna have some of that with my breakfast as well and, and some with my lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna have a glass each. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast and I will see you guys when it's time for lunch. All right, y'all, it is time for my lunch. And I'm gonna show it to you. It's one of my favorite lunches. It just is. If you've been around, you know where, what my favorite lunches are. This is a typical lunch for Jessica. So I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. All right, y'all, here we are. I've got a carb balanced tortilla from Mission. Yummy, yummy. On that, I'm gonna be putting a serving of Mexican style cheese, a half a serving of mozzarella cheese. If I can open this, sorry if it's a little loud. I have some chicken salad. So I'm gonna have a chicken salad quesadilla the chicken salad with the cheeses and the tortilla. And then I'm gonna make myself a garden salad using this iceberg salad. I'm gonna put a serving of this Athenos feta. I'm gonna have a serving of the Olive Garden dressing. I'm gonna have about two ounces of tomatoes. And then there is my soda. I think I showed you that this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my um, chicken salad and salad for my lunch. Once that is all ready to go, I will show you what it looks like. And yeah, it's gonna be really good. I'll show it to you in just a second. All right, you guys, lunch is ready. All right, here we go. It took me about 15 minutes or so. I've got my chicken salad quesadilla, a yummy, yummy. It's got a little bit of celery, some hard boiled eggs, some chicken, and then the cheese in there as well. So that is my chicken salad quesadilla. I have my salad here and my glass of Pepsi Wild Cherry Zero. So anyway, this is gonna be my lunch today. It's gonna be super yummy. And when it's time for dinner, I will let you know what it is we're having. I do already know what we're having for lunch or dinner. I'm sorry because we do have it planned. Um, so I will let you know what it is when it's time that we are ready to eat. All right, I'll see you guys in just a couple of seconds. All right, you guys, so dinner is ready to go and I'm ready to show you what it looks like. All right, here we go. Just kind of uh, a pretty straightforward dinner tonight, to be honest with you. I've got a chicken breast. It's six ounces of chicken. And I've got, I think, three and a half ounces of, or three ounces of broccoli. And then one serving of Mexican style cheese. I just threw that in the microwave and um, melted the cheese over top of it. So, I mean, it is kind of a boring dinner. Uh, my fat is probably a little bit low. I have some Kerrygold butter sitting right over there that I might be putting on the chicken um, to put a little bit more fat in it. Or we actually have some garlic butter in the fridge too. Maybe I'll put a little bit of garlic butter on top. But anyway, this is gonna be my dinner tonight. I'm not 100% certain what I'm eating for dessert, but I'm sure I will let you know in just a second. All right, you guys, it is time for dessert. And again, one of my favorites. So I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. All right, here we go. I've got my yogurt that I enjoy so much. These are the Lily's Semi-Sweet Chocolate Chips. Um, I used to get them at Target, but the last couple of times I've been there, they've been sold out. Luckily, I am a Thrive Market member. This is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, but I can still get the Semi-Sweet at Thrive Market. So yeah, Thrive Market. Um, my Walmart does not carry Lily's chips. My Walmart carries the other, I forget what the other brand's called, but it carries the other brand. Um, I've got some of this Jordan's Skinny Syrup Cookie Dough flavor is my favorite. I go through that pretty quickly. And then I have some Too Good yogurt. I found a new yogurt here recently that is low carb, but here's my yogurt for dinner or for dessert. Um, I found a new yogurt here recently that is low carb and I forget, one of the big brands like I forget, with General Mills or something, is making a new low carb yogurt. I forget the name of it, but it's like a Greek style. It's super thick and it is really, really good. I can actually eat that without any any flavoring to it. The too good, I do have to add some flavoring, otherwise it's not sweet enough for me. 
but that other one ratio maybe is it ratio i think maybe i'm gonna try to remember to put a picture of it here um but yeah it's it's really really tasty anyway beside my head you should now be seeing my macros for the day i know my calories are a little bit over 1500 and i'm not sure about everything else just yet so i'm gonna have to take a look at it and throw those numbers in here as well but that is gonna be it for my full day of eating it is just now 6 30 but that is all i'm gonna eat for the rest of the day i'm gonna stop now and i will pick up again next, tomorrow morning so that is it i hope you enjoyed this what I ate in a day video and I uh, do hope to see you in the next Omni's Eat. If you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have not yet and would like to go ahead and hit subscribe and if you have any comments leave those down below. Alright you guys I will see you on the next one. Bye!